we are going to do something epic. We are talking about Blender on Android. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to show you the full setup and get our first render test going. I know what you're thinking. Blender on Android? Is that even possible? And the answer is, absolutely. We are going to push the limits of what's possible on a mobile device and show you how to create stunning 3D models and animations on the go. So, if you're ready to take your 3D skills to the next level and learn how to use Blender on Android, then you are in the right place. Let's get started and see what kind of amazing things we can create. In this video, I'll be covering the full process to getting started with your first project. We'll also be doing a render test to see just how powerful Blender on Android can be. So, without further ado, let's dive in and get started. So now we are in Blender. So first thing we are looking at is how we can import model to Blender on Android. How you can see your download model in the file. So I go into Sketchfab and found this model, which I think is pretty much good for us to test with. So I heard back to Blender. I go to File, I select Import and I choose GLTF, which is the file format we download from Sketchfab. Then here it comes, nothing shows up. This is what most people are looking for. But to get what you download from this Blender file, you need to get this app called Zashiva. When install Zashiva, you can see this file shows up right here, which is the Blender file. Then copy your model, then you paste it on this file. And you click Extract and Extract here. And you go back to Blender and click on Import. You can see it there, then you click Import GLTF. And you have your model import right in 3D space. The interesting part in this is that you can make a lots of cool stuff in this Blender on Android. You can make good animations, cloth simulations. You can even add more drama to your scene by using HDRI lighting for natural realistic looking scene. Then I can choose some couple of HDRI from Polyhaven, which they have a great HDRI in different categories like indoor and outdoor and much more. I get some few HDRI, then I use the same method I use to put our model to Blender file, then I use the same thing for our HDRI file. I go back to Blender, I choose the world properties, then you can see this yellow dot right here. So click on it, and then you click on environment texture. The scene looks like this. Don't worry it because texture is missing. Then you click the file here, then you can choose your HDRI, then you open it. This has been a great thing ever. On doing all this cool stuff on Blender on Android, you can try adding a different HDRI to your scene. You can make some cool animation like this building camera movement up ward and even render it. Just look at that. There are more of this you can try. You can even render in transparent. Just go to the render property, select film, then click on transparent. Living your model and lighting in the scene with a transparent background. Some even ask, can this open blend file? Off cause sure. You can simply open any blend file you want on open file. You can see this brings all the setups, including the geometry node, and this is working in grass simulations. So maybe in next video, I can share some settings I changed to get fast render time. In times of render little animation for your project, you can check the download link in description, share your thoughts about this, and I see you next time.